Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about update the order status. So let's see how can we update the order status from the admin section. Uh, before doing this, uh, first of all, let's modify here the layout of this table. Uh, for you, this is the user order details page. Okay, so go to the order details user order details page view page and uh, here inside this table class let's add here two more class okay table a stripped a space table transaction okay now save this and refresh the page now it's looking good okay now let's see uh, how can we update the order status from the admin section so first log out from here and let's log in with admin credential and now click on this icon okay orders and uh, now just click on this icon and this is the admin order details page okay now here let's add a link for updating the order status uh, so for that uh, go to the admin controller and just close this all and let's open the admin controller so for from here let's open this one and now let's create here a function uh, for update the order status so right here public function and function name update order status order underscore status okay and inside this just pass here the request dollar request all right and now dollar order is equal to order and find uh, inside this find just pass your the request arrow order ID okay and now inside the order status just put here the a status from the request okay request arrow a status order status and then first check here if dollar request arrow order status is equal to delivered then inside the order just put here the delivery data value so right here delivered underscore date is equal to carbon colon colon now okay and now add here the else part so copy this and add here the else and check if request arrow order status is equal to cancelled cancelled okay then inside the cancel date order cancel date just assign the current date and time okay so add here the column name cancelled date okay and after this just call here the save method so write your order dollar order arrow save okay and also update the transaction so right here if dollar request arrow order status order underscore the status is equal to delivered then inside the transaction so right here transaction is equal to transaction colon colon where order id is equal to dollar request arrow 
order ID then call there the first method and now update the status of the transaction so right here transaction transaction arrow status is equal to approved okay and then call here the save method transaction arrow save and now return back return back with status and pass in the message for status change successfully okay now save this Now let's create the route uh, for this function. So go to the web.php file. So routes web.php and uh, inside the admin route group. Here let's create a new route. So right here route put and right here the uh, URI admin slash order slash update status and then controller name which is admin controller colon colon class and then function name so let's copy this function name and paste here give the route name admin dot order dot status dot update okay now save this and now go to the order details uh, details view file so inside the admin folder uh, let's open this one order details dot play dot php file and here after this let's add here well, first of all let's copy this tip and uh, paste here now change here the text update Order the status okay and then uh, just remove this table and add a form form action is equal to let's copy this route name and write here route and just paste here okay and method is equal to post now close this form and inside this form just pass here at the rate csrf and method and pass the method name put and then add here a hidden field input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to order id order score id underscore id and value is equal to double quality packet dollar order underscore id and now close this and uh, add here a row then call md3 and now 
or drop down okay so i tell you select control select id is equal to order status and name is equal to order is underscore status select control and now add your three option ordered delivered and cancelled so first option value is equal to order and add here the text ordered okay and now let's copy and paste here two times change here the value delivered and last one cancelled cancelled delete okay and now add here the tundra operator double curly bracket dollar order arrow a status if the status is equal to ordered then uh, so you have the value selected selected otherwise blank value and now let's copy this and paste for this option and also for this and now let's copy delivered cancelled okay if order status value is ordered then selected this option if order status is equal to uh, delivered then selected this delivered option and last one if a status order status is equal to cancel then select this option and now add here the submit button so after this just add here pool md3 and here the submit button so button type is equal to submit and also add one more class tf dash button w208 now save this and now for displaying here the message a status before it is stable just add here at the rate if session has status then let's close this in diff then display here a message so inside the p tag just add in the class alert alert success and then display here the message double curly bracket situation colon colon get and pass here the key the status close the p tag now save this and uh, that's done so let's check so go to the browser and refresh the page undefined variable order id okay inside this view file value is equal to just write here order arrow id okay dot underscore now refresh the page now see you can see here the form update order a status okay this is the drop down
before this drop down um, let's add here a class div class is equal to select close this div and now inside this div just paste here save the file and refresh the page okay you can see at the this icon okay now let's change the status the current status is ordered okay now just click on this one delivered click on update status and you can see here a status changed successfully and also change you can see here the order status delivered and paid payment status transaction status approved okay now let's change one more and you can also display here the see here the ordered on this date delivered on this date okay now let's uh, click on this icon and let's cancel this order so cancelled click on update a status and this time you can see here the status cancelled okay and here is the cancel date so in this way you can update the order status so that's all about updating order status from the admin section so thanks for watching this video uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching